Look at this external long axis view. The mitral valve appears dumb and stenotic. This is a pressured mitral valve disease. This congenital malformation occurs when all the cordy tendons insert into a single papillary muscle, typically the posteromedial one. The hallmark echocardiographic feature is the convergence of all the cordy tendons towards a single papillary muscle. The cordy tend to be thick, short, and fused, which restricts lifted motion and can mimic rheumatic mitral valve stenosis. In this transesophageal echocardiographic TEE view, the thickened mitral valve with attachment of the cordy tendon to a single papillary muscle is illustrated. Parachute mitral valve disease is often associated with other congenital heart defect, such as bicuspid aortic valve, ventricular septal defect, or coarctation of the aorta. In this view, a dilated coronary sinus is seen, which represents a persistent left superior vena cava. The disease may present with pulmonary edema in infancy. However, it may not be diagnosed until later in life. In echocardiography, the valve appears as though the leaflets and cordy are converging towards one point, resembling a parachute due to unifocal attachment. This 3D view shows the mitral valve leaflets and a thick single papillary muscle. In parachute mitral valve disease, other papillary muscle is either absent or underdeveloped, and the restricted leaflet motion results from corda tethering in contrast to rheumatic mitral valve disease, where commissural fusion is a major cause. If parachute mitral valve is mistaken for rheumatic mitral valve disease, significant complications may arise during balloon mitral valveplasty, such as acute severe mitral regurgitation. Additionally, performing surgery without recognizing the parachute valve as a complex pathology could lead to prolonged surgery, improper prosthetic sitting, cordial mismanagement, and significant intra- and post-operative complications. Now look at this view of the descending aorta, which shows a coarctation of the aorta. It is important to note that the parachute mitral valve is one of the components of Schoen's disease. A condition is characterized by multiple left-sided obstructive lesions. And in every patient with parachute mitral valve disease, other obstructive lesions, especially coarctation, should be carefully searched for.